If we read Matthew 22, Are ka ryo bala mola o Matthew 22. From 23 to Bala verse 23 to 30. O fita o 30. Twenty-three, verse twenty-three, Matthew twenty-two. Matthew twenty-two. On that day, there came to him Sadducees, the Sadducees. They that say that there is no resurrection. Babale langu rauna tsuo. They ask him, say, teacher. Mamu chabar muruti. Moses said, if a man die, Moshe wii chere mutoa ichwa. Having no children, asna bana. His brother shall marry his wife. Mona we a chemo sadi wa gawe and raise up seed unto his brother. A tsuche chemo go lwane peo. Now they were with us seven brethren. Jo le mo go rena go be go na le banna ba shopao. And the first married. E le banna ba muthu o te. Wa pele a chemo sadi. And having no seed left ah, his wa. wife. to his brother in like manner the second also mosadi a shala aba wa monnawe and the third unto the seventh le go wa bobedi wa ba joalo after them all the woman died a ka mora wa bona ka o fela mosadi o lashwa in the resurrection therefore whose wife shall be of the seven jwa le mohla ba go ba tsoga go mosadi e o tloba wa ma for they all had her Eba mujeri kamo kaba shupile. Twenty-nine. But Jesus answered and said unto them. Jesus fitola are. Ye do a. Liatimela. Not knowing the scriptures nor the power of God. Kau bane aletsibi mawalo limata amudim. For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage. Mosha ba ho ba tsoga ho ba kaseke ba nyala ba kasebe ba nyadiisha. But are as angels in heaven. Batlo ba jolo ka ba rongwa ba modimo ba le godimo. Let's pray. Thank you Lord for your word in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. If we read the how ba la mola you could see people were questioning resurrection. Ba tone ba butjisha taba ye ya tsuo. The Sadducees they never believe that. Ba Sadducee ne ba Sadumele. When a person died or a mutu ishwa. And it's only the scriptures that talks about the power of resurrection. In other words, these people were saying, "You live on earth after death is over." But we can see here Jesus answering them. If you read this verse. 29. How about verse 29? You would say, "Would say." Maybe you can read that in Amplified Bible. Mutlo mwa rekai wa la ka Amplified version. It shows that even chori, you cannot separate scriptures with the power of God. Malo limata mudi. You cannot separate scriptures. Oga se aranyo mangwalo. Can you just read 29 with Amplified? But Jesus replied to them, "You are all wrong." because you know neither the scripture which teach the resurrection nor the power of god for he is able to raise the dead you can see that jesus was open here that if you don't know scriptures or else to be mangwalo Automatically, you may not be experiencing the power. Ah, ora ora kubule la nete mata ona ukaba usaadzi. Because how are you going to have hope? Kau ba nuto ba li kulufelo juang. How are you going to have hope of that scripture? Oto ba li kulufelo juang yali nchileyo. Because the hope of the scripture is the result of the power. Kau ba ni kulufelo yali umalo ni kimi puto kuba di tamrau chama ata. The moment when I have hope in the scripture. Ah ka nna ko yewe no uthu mo ba le khulufelo mo le ntsheng la modimo. I want to see what the scripture will do. Ke nya ko bona re le nwalo le le tata le diang. So Jesus say uh, you people here. So Jesus or le na batho. These are two things that you cannot separate. Ke nto tshe pedi tshe mara le ka sekono di arohanya. Not long I found scriptures that that shows that without the power of God. Ese khale ke tshe mangwana o bontsho ra o sna matamodimo. 
is without the Holy Spirit. And without the Holy Spirit, you are none of Him. So therefore, Christians without scriptures, when the scriptures are not effective in that person, that Christian is as good as powerless. We didn't believe in scriptures. You don't believe in the power of God. That's what Jesus was saying. Therefore, if we want to have power, let's check if the word of God is aligned with us. Oh, are we aligned with God? I will tell you why I'm reading these scriptures. Today we call ourselves Christians. But I've been observing many Christians are powerless. Even what we are doing does not show that we, we are powerful. We are, we are becoming useless. We are becoming, uh, I mean, people who are just there associated with other religions. is becoming religion. You can practice that and practice it this way. But this is power. Scriptures cannot be just, I mean, said without a change. Let me show you this verse, maybe to help us. Because Jesus, in his life, he showed more power. In Matthew 9, I want to show you what Jesus did. In Matthew 9, verse 2, Matthew 9, verse 2, just read there. They brought to him a man who was paralyzed, lying on a stretcher, seeing their active faith springing forth from confidence in him. Jesus said to the paralytic, Do not be afraid, son, your sins are forgiven, meaning the penalty is paid the guilt removed and you are declared to be in right standing with God. Uh -huh. on. And some of the scribes said to themselves, this man blasphemes by claiming the right and prerogative of God. But Jesus knowing their thoughts said, why do you think evil in your hearts? For which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven and the penalty paid, or to say, get up and walk. Both are possible for God, both are impossible for man. Carry on. But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority and power on earth to forgive sins, then he said to the paralytic, get up pick up your stretcher and go home. And he got up and went home healed and forgiven. When the crowd saw this, they were all struck and glorified God and praises, praised him who have given such authority and power to men. Our words of authority Manchari now taulo must be having power to change the situation. Jesus showed that he's a man of authority and by his power he can execute and show that whatever he speaks come to pass. Jesus said, Uri Jesu, Son, Moraka, your sins are forgiven. 
the people were listening, they say, ah, this man now is blasphemed. In other words, he make himself God. Why these people, they say he make himself God? Because it's only God who can forgive sin. Yes, it's only God who can change things. But Jesus was filled with the power of God. He said, which is easier? Which is easier? Is it easy to say, I will say this? What if I say this? Rise up and walk. And they see a crippled person standing up. From there they changed. No. This power here. Have you ever found people say you are powerless? But but by your ways, you can still bring a miracle. Do you know why we are so powerless? We are claiming the authority we don't have. So our ways. So arena. Are shaming us. Are so easy. No, I'm a prophet. Okay. Oh no, we're not like a prophet. After you prophesy, it must come to pass. Come around, you prophet. And get ready, born and did yah na. I was a dear listener. There's no power in our ways. Our love, matter, moment, swing arena. Remember that the word of God, it, it does not go empty. Oh, polang linjuli matter, malinjuli mudi malinjuli mahana. It is set forth. Ali rumetui. It fulfills the purpose. Le peta jamrero. If it's God with you, the power must manifest. I don't know if you're hearing me. The first thing, thing was the scriptures. The second thing, we have to be like Jesus. Jesus said, you will do what I've done. But when I look around, but I didn't see that. We will end up miming. We will end up miming. Will end up acting because we don't have authority, and our voice cannot produce anything. I want to tell you something. If people enter here without their police, but they're not wearing uniform, you won't be afraid. And they say we have already you start to say ah you you will even clap them. But if they come here with uniform, uniform is what they are wearing. Whatever they say to you, you obey. I don't know if you hear me. They have got authority. They've been given the work. And whatever they speak, you will obey. Even when you are powerful, you will obey. They will just come to you and say, don't say a lot. Whatever you say, it will also be given there to the court. Let's go. You feel powerless. You will obey that voice. So today, demons are failing to obey your voice. Number one, you don't have authority. Your ways are powerless. Today, when you move from here, Satan must obey your voice. Situations must obey your voice. Luke Jesus, he look at the crippled man and say, rise up and walk. They knew he's a crippled man. He just And he stood up and walked. You know, I was learning what was happening in the power the power of Jesus in him. Luke 6. Luke 6, verse 19. Verse 18. Yes, it the people were trying to touch him. Because healing power was coming from him and healing 
them all. All the people, listen to this. But come again. On that basis, all the people will try to touch but him. But come again, never leave But the healing power from him came out from him. Mata apodisho alimu yena chau yena. And he healed them all. Aba fodisha kamuka. Where is that power? Mata le akai, mata akai. I'm sorry to say to you that this I'm not judging you, but. In Swarela kinya kuli hatola. But I believe we can change South Africa. Kito malori kachenge chali fasi labori na South Africa. If we can have a healing power. Are kabale mata apodiso. Even than prophecy. We fitisha o profita. We can change South Africa. We can change South Africa by healing power. Kaumata podisho. People who are sick, they don't need prophecy. But oba alo ala ba banya ko profiti wani. They know what they are sick of. Ba tibor maluicha wana kiingi. Others are sitting on wheelchair. They need healing power. Ba oba tuchi odi madi wheelchair banya kamata podisho. You know, Jesus spent most of his time Jesus healing than prophesying. Jesus uferiche nako ya haye nchu apfodisha uferiche u prophesying. We need healing power. Reto kama ata aufodisha. We need healing power. Reto kama ata aufodisha. We need power. Reto kama ata. So, most of the time Chano nganchi we are focusing on what we want to see in the spirit. Relevele chikudu kuru chari nyako di wona mo yeng. But we are feeling in the flesh. People are sick around us. People are poor behind us. There. But there's nothing we can do. Jesus, Jesus, they wanted to touch him. Can you just look at the reaction? When someone wants to touch the pastor, ah, moto mwanya ko khata muruti. And he knows, he knows. The Bible says he didn't say they touch him. He says they sought to touch. Ne vanya ka omutwara. In other words, Jesus was passing. Ola ro Jesus na ipita ela. When he was passing, ha ipita. The crippled man stood up. Oh la, waso la yemelel. HIV was here. HIV a falla. They, they will cry to touch him. They could not touch him. In other words, the power hit them. And something happened to them. This power, it can do what it wants. It can do what it wants. It can do what it wants. Christians must have it. This is for Christians. This is for Christians. This is for Christians. Do you remember John 1 verse 12? Let's open up John chapter 1 verse 12. It says to those who believe in him. It says to those who believe in him. He gave them the power, matter, and they become God's sons. But Tomu Baba Rova Mudi, the moment you believe, can na koyo tuva kuto mela, you will change situations. Uto change chadiyo momo hausuluwe. Do you know why you are powerless? Let's go why this na mata. Can I tell you why you are powerless? Kilo boje butata. I will tell you why you are powerless. But if you can see how Jesus, marahale kabora kamuho Jesus, healing. Afodisha, you will see that is what was supposed to be done by all of us. Look what happened in Acts one verse eight. Arle belenta ba yela ya odi alan mala o titi rojama apostola one eight. Why we can be powerless? Why are kasi bele mata? We don't wait. Rasalit kita ba yora reliti. We don't wait. I really do. The moment you speak in tongues, you want to heal people. Ah, when you pull it like a malimi, a mararo, when you go for the shabbat. Our tongues are more than the actions. Malimi are na na fitish, a a a a a kya mangato fitish. Matar na ria bonchanga ufudish. If you read verse six, how about verse six? Just read verse six there. So when they had come together, they asked him repeatedly, Lord. Are you at this time re-establishing the kingdom and restoring it to Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know the times or epochs which the Father has fixed by his own authority. But you will receive power and ability when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. 
and you will be my witnesses to tell people about me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and even to the ends of the earth That's your neighbor are you a witness Ore we na upaki na we kai Ask your neighbor again are you a witness Oche makabe dure ina upaki say we are are e uri kai In fact I want to teach you this I want you to understand this message Akela uta say kinyo gore le kwishe mlai chao The Bible says you will start from where you are Bible ro tsoma na mo leng teng until to the end of the world Ufita la bo felong ba le fatsi But here it says it's not for you to know the times Mo aire ire le na ina si taba ya le na ore le telitse be di na koni I was telling my wife today I said I don't know most of the time I'm patient In fact, I want things to be done now. If things are not done that. Therefore, I don't believe in that. If those things, if I pray for you, you don't rise up. I won't push you to stand up. I don't know if you hear me. If I pray for you, you don't stand up. You will see me pass it to pray for you. Because, because I'm not the one who hears. That's why I run short of patience. That's why I keep fell like a hotel in the morning. This scripture shows that we are late. Let me point you to Nana, Renana, Swanelo. This scripture is showing that Christians, you are late. Evil Lord, na ba pulusa na relata. Once you receive power, how am I to matter? People must know you. But what's on your banu save? The whole world you will travel. Le fasile ka ufelo tali sipila. The whole world. Le fasile. But look here you are not even known by the people from your village Even around where you are staying in the social movement You are not from social movement you are not even known Ale ji social movement aba utsivi The Bible says you, you don't need to worry about time Bible here lena la tshonela o bilaela ka dinako But wait le tang fela until you are filled by the Holy Spirit O fetelwa le tatjwa ka mata In other words, there are Christians who are late. Wow, namo puluswa ya latitwe. Wait until o leta o fitella. When the Holy Spirit fill you. Moyo alanga o tla. No one will stop you. Awa namo tata o yimisha. So our challenge is we can wait. Challenge yaro na kura ro khono leta. And then most of the time we run short of my patience. And I anchi na refellwa ko khotelelo. Even when we go to pray. We are praying to be filled by the Holy Spirit. The Bible say wait. Mara Bible relita. That's why wait. Lita. Because it's God who will bring that Holy Spirit. It's not you. You wait doing what is right. So do you want to know why you are not filled with so power? You can wait. If Peter could not be with disciples, you will not stood up. You will not have stood up and preached the message. But the same Peter was fearing. He stood up that day. Three thousand were saved. But about three thousand of our people were captured. We are powerless. Are no matter what you are powerless. You are powerless. You, are powerless. You, you are failing even to change your boyfriend. You are failing even to, to to minister to your boyfriend or your girlfriend. You are failing to minister to your boyfriend or your girlfriend. To show that you are powerless, if money comes out, you forget you are a Christian. As long as you get money, 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 as long as
Corinthians 4. This is the scripture you know, verse 20. It says, for the kingdom of God is not in words but in power. Are you in the kingdom? Can you ask, are you in the kingdom? Read that verse 20 in your Bible. You say what? For the kingdom of God is not based on talk but on power. Which, which, which version is that? Is it amplified? Yes. Just read that. Listen to that. For the kingdom of God is not based on talk, talk. but on power. We talk too much. But no corresponding power. Even our preaching is too much. You'll be surprised. Hey, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. But there is no power. Why? Why there is no power after we are screaming? Why in prayer? Have you ever found you are kneeling down, you are crying, hey, go, where are you? Go, hey, and you are in a mountain. And Satan visits you. Satan the soul. Spiritual wife visits you. There. Spiritual wife, you are The moment you sleep like this, spiritual wife. How are you, my friend? You wake up, you realize, ah. What's why we push your butt? I mean, the mountain Satan here, no one joy like that. Our Satan on to each one. After you do three days of fasting, you just find spiritual husband come. And that has, spiritual husband comes the same way it comes when you're not praying. And a spiritual husband will not take a little bit of a Spiritual husband. And he say, how's it? After <sighs> And here you were speaking in tongues. But when you finish the Mara Satan wafita. The kingdom of God is not of talk. It's of what? And this power we are talking about is not, not, not what you people are thinking. It's not to gather people to yourself. I'll tell you, I'll tell Pastor this thing. Out of my experience of pastoring, I can tell you something. Without the power of God, you won't make it. Demons visiting you to attack you. Many people today who have got problems are pastors. Others are even sick, but you don't know. Challenges everywhere. Why? Because you are fighting Satan. And this Satan is not a small boy. You need power. You just hear people say, your pastor is blocking me. I want to be a, to be a prophet. I want to be a prophet. Oh. Go and ask them what is happening. Go and ask these people. And they'll tell you that it's not easy. And and if you tell them it's not easy, you depend on the grace. It's like you are blocking them because they, they think pastoring is a career. But you are blocking them because they are blocking them. Just the, oh, me, pastor, drive this car. I want to drive it to you. Ah. Hey, pastor, you don't even know how pastor got that car. So, car is not, I mean, it's not part of the power I'm talking about. Houses is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the power from the Holy Spirit. You need power from the Holy Spirit. Confessing one sin shows you are powerless. 
I'll tell you what is the meaning of power in science. Ke tale bo tsore ke mata re bolela jwang ka ona. In science it says it's ability to do the work. Ke bo khone o ka science ke bo khone ba o dia mereko. And here in Christianity. And I'm pull so your work must be according to God's will. Moshomo wa wa utsa my son le tato ya modimo. You can still do the work. O ka no tshola pelo di America. And you find that God say it's not the work. Wa tshola modimo ra entwa se America we dirile. It is supposed to be according to God's will. O ba ni tshontsho tsa my son le tato ya modimo. So that power it is the same power that Jesus came back from after he has been led by the Holy Spirit. Do you know that the Bible talk about Jesus being led to the desert where he was going to fast. But the Bible says when he came back he was filled with power. When he was going there, we never heard about power. He was led. But the Holy Spirit. Sometimes the Holy Spirit will lead you where he will produce that power. I don't know if you are hearing me. You find yourself alone. And you find yourself praying. And you are gathering that power. But when you come back, things must change. I say things must change from today. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Look here in 1 John 3 verse 8 to 9. John 3 verse 8 to 9. The Bible says he manifested to destroy the works of Satan. Can you just read that verse 8 to 9? Okay. Yes. Can you just read that verse 8 to 9? The one who practices sin, yeah. separating himself from God and offending him by acts of disobedience, indifference or rebellion, is of the devil and takes his inner character and moral values from him, not God. For the devil has sinned and violated God's law from the beginning. The Son of God appeared for this purpose, to destroy the works of the devil. No one yes. who is born of God deliberately, knowingly, and habitually practices sin because God's seed, his principle of life, the essence of his righteousness character remains permanently in him who is born again, who is reborn from above spiritually, transformed, renewed, and set apart for his purpose. And he who is born again cannot habitually live a life characterized by sin because he is born of God and longs to please him. You heard that? If you are born of God, born of the weight, born of uncorruptibles, you cannot sin again. Because Jesus appeared to destroy the works. And you have received the same power. The same seed that is with Jesus is in you. So for you, your conscience is alive. So there are things you cannot do. You know, last of last week, I told some people, I said, I said, there are some people, even if you hurt them, they will never respond. Because it's not that they are cowards. It's because of something that has happened to them. They fear God. They fear God. But now, this verse shows that there's a nature of Christ in you. Because Jesus has appeared. If he is in you, where is sin around you? 
I mean, there are times whereby you need to ask yourself, why I'm becoming angry? Why I lied? You, you have to judge yourself. Who is in you? If it's greater than the one after the world, well, you can't beg the, world, the smaller one. If someone in you is bigger, you won't beg the one who's small. I mean, you would talk right, you speak right, you walk right. The righteousness of God will be upon you. Jesus appeared. If Jesus appeared in you, and righteousness is part of the things of the past. I don't know if you're hearing me. There are things you will never do. You know, not long I found that I have to tell the young people. I was also young when I started the ministry. Very, very young. And when we were still taught by the late Korombi, I was the youngest pastor. Other people were very old. But I never thought I would reach this point. Can I tell you this? When you play with your own time, if whatever you mess up when you are young, you'll be shocked you have wasted your time when you grow up. Have you ever find now you are old and they are also younger? I have learned what I want to tell you. That because I did it. That the moment you hold your integrity, you also attract attention from God. You won't regret when you're old. I don't have regrets. Can I tell you this? I want you just to hold on without offending someone. One time my wife said to me, oh, people who can rebel against you, you don't mind about them. But says, it says, because you have never rebelled against oh, anyone. Therefore, you cannot mind by the people who are doing what they are doing if you have not done that. that. But if you mind, it means after you have done, after you have done that before, it means when they do that is punishment too. And I began to say, you are very right. Because you have to hold the power. If you know what you have, you won't mind about it. I won't be minding about the offenders because I know what is in me. I know my future. I know where God is taking me. If you know where God is taking you, you won't complain by the present situation. The manifestation of sons of God will be manifested in you. You have to be clear to the there will be a time where God says it is your time. There are some people today who are hearing this. The power of God will come upon them and something will happen. I say something will happen. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Just as something is about to happen. You are about to change situations. You are about to change where you are staying. You are about to come out with something that people will glorify your God. Let me show you this scripture of Mary in Luke 134. I want us to read that scripture. It's important. What makes Mary to believe? Read 34 to 38. It says, Mary said to the angel, Mary said to the angel, How will this be? Since I am a virgin and I have no intimacy with any man. Then the angel replied to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you like a cloud. 
For that reason, the holy, meaning pure, sinless child, shall be called the son of God. And listen, even your relative Elizabeth has also conceived a son in her old age. And she who was called barren is now in her sixth month. For with God nothing is or ever shall be impossible. Then Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. And the angel left him. I just want us, again, Mama, I want us to slowly we check these two verses. 37, 37 and 38. Maybe just find American Standard Version. 37 and 38. Yes. That is 738. Yes. American Standard Version. Okay. Yes. For no word from God shall be void of power. Well, and Mary said. Listen to that. This is the word that has changed Mary. This is the message from the angel. Can you read verse 37? For no word from God shall be void of power. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Okay, listen. Here, you must know that Elizabeth was old. And Mary, she knew Elizabeth. Maria Elizabeth. And the whole village, they knew she was. I don't know if you're hearing that. And now, the angel is bringing the message that Elizabeth, who is known as Barrett, Elizabeth, Barrett, she's pregnant. Because always the word of God it carries the power to carry out what God has spoken. And now, she said, I'm your handmaid. The moment she heard that, she said, me, if, if Elizabeth is, is, is having a child, no, it means you, God, make me your handmaid. Let, Let me be your slave. Let your word come to us. The way you are saying I it. I don't know if you're hearing me. Read that verse again. 37. For no word from God shall be void of power. No word from void shall be no word from God shall be void. Alright, read that in King James Version. You will see that the scripture was not referring to God was referring to his word. Let the word not in children and less of the little motive and the level of the Satan. Sit up to me. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. If the word is from God, I'll in children, little motive. There is nothing that will be impossible. I'll enjoy it up along with it also. If this word, I'll in children, the word will carry power to change everything even the impossible so if you read uh, if you can see I was asking myself why always we talk about Joshua Joshua 1 why always revolve like Joshua chapter 1 can you read from 6 Joshua 1 verse 6 you will see that Joshua was told what is important is what? Is the word of God. And the word of God can make you to dominate. Just read, Mama. Be strong and of good courage. Uh -huh. For unto these people shall thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear 
unto their fathers to give them. Yes. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left that thou mayest prosper with us so ever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Our success is <inaudible> the word of God. Why are we poor today? Why are we We don't have power. We don't have power. And without power, what we need to conquer is conquering us. Let me give you an example by two people. Two people, come. Two people. Okay, just face this man. I'm just giving you an example by this no, Who's having something like a wire? Yeah, give me your necklace. Your necklace. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see this is a wire? Amen. Huh? Put your hands behind. Give me your hands. Give me your hands. So, don't forget this necklace. So, this man is crazy. And you are, you are a pastor. And your hands are like this. Put them like this. Like that. Is there anything you can do? No. No. If you see this man, how is crazy. This and this man, he doesn't have power. He's a slave. Whoever is power, powerless, is in slavery. Now. If we bring this man, even if he can be close like this, who can pray for who better? The crazy person. So, say, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. So, say, I can also pray for you. I can also pray for you. So, put a hand here. Well, it's all okay. Say, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. Who is receiving madness? All right, okay, just go sit down. Can I say this to you? The reason why there are many problems, we are powerless. Say you are powerless. You have to use strategies and formulas Competition. Oppositions. I mean, gathering against. Recruiting. 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 All these are coming from powerful When you are powerful. When you are just powerful. You will relax. And wait for God's time. And that power from you. Will be able to break every power of the enemy. If you believe shout hallelujah. Yeah. Moses was dead. And Joshua knows that Moses was and Joshua powerful. Now the message came and said, you are the one to divide the land of Israel to the people. But just be strong. Man. Just be strong. And then the Lord said, you are the one to divide the land of Israel to the people. But just be strong. You know why this scripture is not different with 2 Timothy 1 verse 8? You are not given a spirit of fear. You are not given a spirit of fear. 
but of power. Be strong to face these people and divide them the land. I don't know if you're hearing it. Yeah, the Bible shows that God was saying, I'm with you. Can you read verse 9? Verse 9, 8, 9. Read 8, 9. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, uh -huh. but thou shalt meditate day in day and night, mm. that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Yes. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Verse 9. Have I not commanded thee, be strong and of good courage, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, with thee whithersoever Can thou goest. Best? Can you hear that? God Amen. must say, listen, the moment you stand like this, I'm Can, with you. There will be things that will bring fear and encourage yourself. Because the, it's you it's not God now. He says it's you. Who will make your way prosper? Don't bring other ways. You. The power of God in you. You know, when we read these scriptures, I was asking myself, how on earth Joshua, the Bible says, wherever he put his leg, Joshua, the Bible says, that led in a long story. And I said, this was power. I mean, today, how many land do you have? This is an old testament. This is Joshua of Old Testament. We are talking about the same God. As I was do you have a land? Are you defeating your enemies? Or you are using your own strategies? Look when God, Jesus, when he came, he just Jesus said, oh, in Matthew 10 verse 1, oh, Matthew 10, 1. If you look Matthew 10 verse 1, Matthew 10, 1, he gave them power. His follower, he gave, he gave them power. I remember even the time when they came back, he said, I saw certain falling leg. Like Satan, Satan is still standing there. Satan was saying, Can you just read Matthew 10, verse 1? And when he had called unto him he called his them. 12 disciples, yes. he gave them power against unclean spirits. Stop there. It means this power can be given. You hear that? The power can be given. He called them out. Read that verse. And when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, uh -huh. he gave them power against unclean spirits. Stop there. He called them and said, You come. To be you power. The power can be given. There are some people, if you meet them, their life is about to change. I mean, their power can be given. He called them. And he gave them power. He gave them power. Today, you receive power. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Have you ever found the Bible say you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes? Have you ever, ever found that scripture? You say you will receive what? Power. When the Holy Spirit has what? So therefore, power you can be given. But the Holy Spirit can come by himself to you. You can be given power today. To change your situation. To break the power of the earth. And to live a victorious life. I need that power. Can you tell me, I need that power. Listen, don't act you have that you are there. Don't act that you are there. Don't act that you are there. Don't act that you are there. 
Don't act you have received power when Os, you don't have. Oskadira o karo na leona mata khante o na silo. Don't act there. Don't act you have power. Skaiti o karo na le mata. Because you will be defeated. Kwa no to shulwa. I want to show you scripture where people took it to themselves. Kinyo kore ki 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 li balle le ngwalle le ngwa batho ba ile ba itjela taba ba ebe ya matsonga bona. Open the book of Acts. Ditiro. You find these guys. Le to thola ba thanka ba bangwana mola. They took it to themselves. Acts by 19. Ba ile ba itjela taba ye ba idia ya bona. From verse 11. Oto wa verse 11. These were not given power they ba ba fi o matane they took it to them ma no tia dita ba tia ba itela tsa bona they took power but to by themselves amen they, they i don't know what happened to these guys because you know there are some people who just take trick it to themselves ona le ba ba ngoba ba itela tsa read verse 11 and god wrought special miracles by the hands of paul my god so that from his body were brought unto the sick hand kerchiefs or aprons mm. and the disease departed from them and the evil spirits went out of them then certain of vagabond Jews exorcists took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits the name of the Lord Jesus saying we adjure you by Jesus whom Paul preaches and there were seven sons of one Sceva a Jew and chief of the priest which did so and the evil spirits answered and said Jesus I know and Paul I know but who are you and the man in whom the evil spirit was was leaped on them Oh sorry and the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of their house naked and wounded I want to remind you something uh, when I started to do crusades long time ago I get to the crusade khale I went to a place called Shandima in Venda I, I had a crusade in showground. I'm sure it's more than 15 years ago. By then, uh, even our vendor people were calling me Nigerian. Because the moment you do something, they say, oh, you, got it. you got it from Nigeria. Or they say, it's from Debe. Or they say, Now they will say call it occultic. They can don't know. Know. So they don't know. They don't know something. They just give it a name. So I decided to stay with this man who supported us a lot. This man who supported us a lot. So I decided to stay with this man who supported us a lot. And then I said to him, okay, we'll move late and we'll go to the hotel. So somewhere past eight, Kabo pas eti we sure sa do chile bona. Re do chile bona ka monto ngia bona. When you say want to go say please. Ah ke re ke re atsa ma go awa. Angeng le yemeng nyana ke nyokole bontsha ta. I didn't understand why he's coming with that. Nane ke sa ku sure why are not a letter ba tshe. Nine ya beta. He was very powerful Christian. Eh na le mo pholoso mo atileng mataku. 10 o'clock. 10 ya beta. No no no. Ka re a wa papa. We have we have got something. Ha le sela re du tsa wa ona le ntoro so njo re dire. I want to go and sleep. Na ke nyoko tsa makoro ba na re ke a go pela. Wait. Ke le le teng nyana. Something you want to tell me. Ona le ntong ke nyoko o thalosetsa. I will see it. Ah 11 o'clock. 11. Quarter to 12. Ai re quarter to 12. I began to hear some sounds. Katomo kwa mudumo mumwe. In the roof. Ana mo thakeng nyanto. So I look up. Na ka level na odi. As was happening is. Ka no dia la. Pastor I was delaying. Muruti ne ke ke tsi anako. For this. O re le tele ko di tabache. I can't sleep. A ke ro bale. I say he. Ka re he. So you kept me not sleeping so because of your. So le lampe yo ke ska ro pala le ro bala le nyoko re ke to diloche. So, some people they have their things but mama go bana di lo tsa bona and they are used to their own things but we chidi lo tsewe i don't know if you hear me i get sa ba lento i say brother 
no, 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 no. Go to sleep. No, 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 no. If I, the moment I sleep, it becomes worse. So you have kept me for this. Oh, I'm going. He said, please don't go break from me. Because the moment you become used to what you are facing, you become a slave of that I thing. I don't know if you hear me. Where is the power where is the power in you? And the person say what? Well, look at these people now. They saw Paul doing special miracles. The uproars were taken to Paul. And they touched people there they were here. They say, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And they took themselves. When they are there, <laughs> they even quote the name of Paul. When they see nothing is happening, they say, no. Paul preach, preach Jesus. Paul Jesus. We also come in the name of Jesus. The name of Paul too. And demons look at them. And demons look at them. Who are you? I know Jesus. I know Paul. Paul And who are you? I fail to answer. That demon of a power. Bible demon And they run away naked. Naked. Because they took it to themselves. This thing is still happening today. People take it to themselves. And say, me, I can also do this. The repercussions will be great. You can get a bad thing. Everybody has been given power to believe, to pray, but not to claim things and take it to yourself. Allow God to give you. You need power. You have been in one place. This situation must change. Stagnation must go away. I mean, how can you try to fight others what, what is happening today? It shows that people are powerless. You know, listen to this. If God can give you this power, you can go to the bush, people will follow you there. I'm telling you, you can go to the bush. People will follow you there. I don't know if you're hearing me. Are you powerful? Or powerless? Have recognize what makes you powerless? You need to find out what is making me powerless. What is making me powerless? Am I a Christian? Why I'm living this kind of life? If truly Jesus wants to give you power, the Holy Spirit must come to you to guide you where you will use the power. He will guide you where you will use the power. I don't know if you're hearing me. Someone was asking me, he said, Do I believe in demonstration of power? Do I believe in that? I said, I don't believe in that. God does not have power to play with it. When the power comes out, it's to achieve God's purpose. It's not to show the power. It's for God's purpose. Today, you will receive that power. The Holy Spirit will come and Let us all stand.